What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so here's the situation we have going on, folks. We have breaking news for you. We now have four areas of interest in the Atlantic Ocean. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This season is about to get very active, folks. We have a lot of stuff we need to cover in a short amount of time, so I'm going to do the best that I possibly can. So here we go. We have Invest 98L, Invest 99L, a new area of interest that is kind of attached to 99L. We'll get to that. And then we have this area of interest that is in the Gulf of Mexico. A low pressure system has been detected with this near the Bahamas, near the Turks and Caicos, to be more exact. So we're going to go ahead and briefly cover all the chances. We're not going to have time to really get into the nitty gritty of in the, in the basic stuff right here. We're just going to go ahead and show you what we have going on. Showers and thunderstorms have become a little more organized near the Cabo Verde Islands. It is expected to move around 10 miles per hour across the tropical Atlantic, and a tropical depression is likely to form over the weekend. 70% chance of formation of 98L to develop in the next 7 days, 50 in the next 48 hours. 99L, this is a very interesting case that I'm looking at. It looks like the western part of 99L is starting to strengthen a bit more, and it's starting to choke off the eastern part of 99L. It's a little confusing, I know, so please bear with me. So here's what we have going on. All right here, disorganized showers and thunderstorms persist. Environmental conditions appear marginally conducive. 50% chance of development in the next seven days. This is our, our next area of interest. This has a 10% chance of formation already and a 20% chance in the next seven days. And it does look like it is going to be impacting the Lesser Antilles and potentially Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. So if you are watching from any of these areas, pay very close attention to this for over the next few days. We're going to continue updating you as time continues to go on. On. So here's what we have going on with the cliff notes. Another area of low pressure could form in a day or so on the tail end of the longitude trough of low pressure, which is about 500 miles east southeast of the Lesser Antilles. Slow development is possible over the weekend. So once again, we still have a 20% chance. And now we have our low pressure system that is developing right here with this tropical wave. It's been getting a lot more organized today. So that's what we're looking at. 30% chance of formation in the next seven days. Area of disturbed weather is locate, located near Hispaniola and is expected to move into the Gulf by next week. And that's what we have going on. It's expected to impact potentially Texas and northeastern Mexico by the end, middle of next week. So this is something we need to continue to be very focused on, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to show you a few model runs where we got right here. We have the 12Z runs we're going to go ahead and show you because, ladies and gentlemen, the European, the CMC... GFS and all these runs have really ramped up in their intensity. Here's what we have for the European. It, the European has this western part of the low pressure system of 99L taking over and organizing and strengthening into a tropical storm over the Lesser Antilles and continuing to strengthen while moving at a very slow pace towards the Virgin Islands in Puerto Rico, gets down to a 998 millibar system. We're going to briefly zoom in real quickly just to kind of give you an idea of how strong those winds could potentially be. We're showing you 850 millibar height and winds. So they peak around 50, uh, 58 knots or so, which is about 60 miles per hour on the ground. So something to keep an eye on, but we'll continue to focus on that. So once it impacts Puerto Rico, it moves out to sea, according to the European, and then starts making a northward turn towards the uh, situation right here, although the European actually has this thing stalling out a little bit. And then may I've seen some other models potentially have this impacting towards the west. And the European also has is calling for a Pacific system to impact enter the Gulf of Mexico and potentially impact Texas right there so that's what uh, another p interesting thing to take a look at but we'll continue to monitor that as time continues to go on so we're going to go ahead and next show you the CMC run right here we're giving you the latest runs the CMC run actually is pretty interesting it has this low this low pressure system in the western part of 99L actually entering the Caribbean it's actually weak enough to do that enter Jamaica and then start organizing and strengthening this is the 12Z run we showed you earlier and now that an area of interest has been tagged on it we can definitely take it with a little bit less of a grain of salt, but again, this is pretty outlandish looking at Category 2 intensity as it approaches the United States right there after it enters the Caribbean and really intensifies over that ocean heat content we have going on over there. So 
The CMC does look like it's going to be an outlier, but even the GFS is picking up on this to some extent. It has this western tropical wave right here, developing over the Lesser Antilles, over the Leeward Islands right here. It kind it kind of doesn't uh, pick it up anymore. It does turn into either a tropical storm or tropical depression as it approaches Puerto Rico, potentially Hispaniola going forward. And there have been some ru uh, ensemble runs that have it potentially heading towards the west, and we're going to go ahead and show you those right about now. So here's the ensemble runs. This is the 12Z European, and it is really, really exploded in all the amount of ensembles it has been showing. And what's really working with these systems is basically uh, the warm air and the ocean heat content. The wind shear is a little iffy, and we'll cross-check these ensembles with the wind shear to kind of give you the full story, and the dry air as well, because there's actually decreasing dry air as we continue to speak on this. So that's an interesting situation. We're going to go ahead and go out about a three to four days out. So this is 60 hours out. It has this, this system starting to develop and organize near the Lesser Antilles. If we show that on the shear forecast, about 60 hours out as we continue to speak. Yeah, there's some a little bit of shear to the north of it. However, it is in decent conditions where it is to develop. So that checks out. If we go ahead and show you the moisture component, already in a very consistent moisture pocket right here early on. So that's something to pay attention to right here. Now we're going to go ahead and go basically another 24 hours out. And as you can see, we start seeing a ton of scenarios of tropical storm and hurricane strength. And look at how con look at how concentrated these are. This is only three and a half days out, folks. So if you're in Puerto Rico, if you're in the Dominican Republic, if you're in the Lesser Antilles watching this, you guys absolutely need to pay attention as an impact is absolutely possible with this. We're not sure the intensity of this. We'll have to keep an eye on it, but this is looking pretty interesting so far. So here's what we have going on. A lot of these ensembles have it either hitting Puerto Rico or the Dominican Republic. Some of them have it going even as far west as Haiti. And then the European kind of keeps it there. We're not sure what's going to happen. The models split off. Some of them either have it going out to sea. Others have it potentially impacting the United States, Florida, Georgia, the Carolinas right there as we go down the road. So something to monitor for sure as we continue to take a look at all this. In the meantime, we have this tropical system that's starting to organize and develop right here near Texas right here. And we're showing, seeing a lot more ensemble runs calling for tropical development of either tropical storm or hurricane strength anywhere from Beaumont, Texas down to near Monterey, Mexico. So this is something we need to easily take a look at and keep an eye on as tropical development is possible according to the National Hurricane Center. It has plenty of warm water, 30 plus degrees Celsius, 32 in parts of the loop current over here, plenty of OHC. 100 in a lot of areas right here. So this definitely has a lot of fuel to work with. And if we t go ahead and cross-check this with the wind shear over here in the Gulf of Mexico to kind of give you a little interesting figure as to why it, we're so concerned about this. There is a little bit of wind shear. This is about 126 hours out right here. There is a bit of wind shear towards Texas right here, but overall, I'm not too deeply concerned about the shear. It's going to be in pretty moderately moist air, so this is something we absolutely need to continue to monitor as time continues to go on. This really got real over the last couple of hours. We're going to continue to update here on the Pat's Path Predictor channel, so be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps us out, helps us make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather, and if you want to come hang out with us at Storms Unite and see the behind the seeds and even help us out a little bit come join the discord server it is right over there but with that being said have a wonderful day guys stay safe